Joining us now is outgoing Deputy Mayor of Jerusalem, Fleur Hassan Nahum. Welcome, Deputy Mayor. Iran has been at war with the West for decades. It's just a lot more obvious when hundreds of missiles and drones rain down on Israel. So, first of all, tell us what damage was done inside your country, despite a robust defense system, actual and psychological damage mm. that you suffered last weekend. So you're very right. We've been at war with Iran for many, many years, but they've always, they've never shown their hand. It's always been a proxy war through their agents, Hamas in the south of Israel, Hezbollah to the north of Israel in Lebanon. They've destroyed Syria. They've gone in with the Houthis um, and even killed some American servicemen and women in the uh, Red Sea uh, channel. And today, what we see is that for the first time ever, Iran has shown their hand and Iran attacked Israel directly in an unprecedented, incredible amount of missiles. And we're very grateful to the United States for helping us fend off that very brutal attack, which could have been really, really, really bad. And thanks to help from the United States, France, the UK, and even the, Jordan, the Jordanian Air Force, we managed to repel the attack that could have been really devastating. Uh, you are correct that the U.S. and other friendly nations uh, did defend Israel and helped with the Iron Dome. Israel responded to the Iranian attack, but to some of us, the attack was more muted than what we were contemplating. So in your judgment, was Israel planning something more robust and was discouraged from doing so, uh, in particular by the Biden administration? Look, we're in the middle of a war, a brutal war with Hamas in the south, who've taken 134 of our innocent men, women, and babies. And if we went all out war with Iran, it could mean a huge regional war that everybody would have dragged into. I actually think that Iran is the Nazi Germany of the 1930s. And I think that the world eventually is going to have to deal with Iran. Enough with this Chamberlain attitude of appeasing them. They will not be appeased. These are fundamentalists jihadi ideologues who want to push the world back 500 years. So sooner or later, they threaten the entire free world. At the moment, they start with Israel, but they make it very clear. Israel's the little Satan, America's the big Satan. They talk about it very, very clearly. And so at the moment, maybe it's not the time for a regional war because that may have escalated to that. Um, but I think that eventually we're going to get there. Uh, whether the administration thinks we're going to get there or not, it's inevitable. All right. You mentioned Iran as part of this new evil axis, axis of evil, harking back to World War II. Both Presidents Obama and Biden seem to think Iran could be negotiated with, that a country who fundamentally believes in death to Israel and the United States is a good negotiating partner. What should the world's response to Iran be, either via sanctions or militarily? Well, first of all, I'm a believer that when people keep telling you they want to kill you, you should believe them. And for years already, what Iran really wants to do is change the world order, but start with the Middle East. The Middle East has got a very significant American presence, and Iran doesn't want America in the Middle East. We're just seen by Iran as the agent of the United States and the free world. Um, and so they see Saudi Arabia, they see the Emirates, they see Bahrain. Iran is a threat to any country in the region and in the world that wants peace and prosperity for their people. They want a very dark jihadi fundamentalism. And this is a threat to the entire world. So when the America helps Israel and other countries help Israel, they're also helping themselves. But like I said, I just don't see how we can continue to live in a world where these people are doing everything they're doing. They're the biggest exporters of terrorism across the world. If you get rid of the Iranian regime, you get rid of the majority of the terrorism in the world. Just think about that for a second. So I don't see how eventually we don't have to deal with it. The question is, who's going to be brave? Who's going to be Churchill? Because at the moment, we see a lot of Chamberlains in the world. Yeah, speaking of Neville Chamberlain, Chuck Schumer called for regime change in Israel. I have not heard him call for regime change in Iran, but we will save that for another conversation. The deputy mayor of Jerusalem, 
thank you so much for joining us again on the Sunday night. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.